What role do you see bioethics playing when it comes to bridging science, medicine, as well as that human experience of illness? Yeah, um, I think bioethics can sometimes have a, the connotation of, of be reduced to really finding out like what is the right way of, of navigating really controversial issues or well, dilemmas in healthcare. But it's, it's really so much more. It's, it brings together so many different interdisciplinary fields, it sort of brings to the forefront, you know, how history, art, science and technology, literature have all influenced um, our, our healthcare system, how individuals and providers and policymakers really perceive health. So I think it's a, it's extremely impactful for bringing together a, a lot of different people to, to understand how to, um, you know, best deliver care and, and help individuals with their, their well-being and health. And when we spoke ahead of this, you mentioned, you know, research involved qualitative work with patient population. So what did you learn from that process, you know, maybe that you can't get from just being in a classroom and maybe more so the benefit of being at like an academic medical center? So yeah, so during my master's program, I was able to to work with some some narratives from the like, qualitative narratives of, of those living with, with vitiligo. But even after finishing my master's program, uh, I got to stick around and do some qualitative work with, with two different populations, those with, with sickle cell disease, and then parents and caregivers of, of children with medical complexity. So really vastly different experiences that, that I was going through with the different populations that I was able to, to engage with. I think that the biggest thing I, I learned was really like the, the power of the, the stories that these individuals hold. And you know, unfortunately, that not a lot of them have an outlet for letting people know their experiences. So for me, one of the biggest things I, I was grateful to have the opportunity to have is just the opportunity the chance to to listen to the individuals and, and hear them out and kind of learn from their experiences that they've been kind of holding inside and not feeling like they they have the opportunity to either share with their their providers or even their family members. So I think that was extremely powerful and that's not something that you can really read in text. You know, oftentimes you get the, the opportunity to meet with a stranger who you know, never met before and have an isolated time where you get to hear a lot of their, um, you know, personal experiences that they might not have shared with, with others.